Hey and welcome back. Today we are exploring the magic of React Suspense and how it suspends rendering the components. React allows components to suspense rendering while waiting for data or other resources. Wrap a React component with a suspense component and provide the fallback component. React will render the fallback whenever the child is waiting for a synchronous operation to complete. Imagine you are developing a profile page that needs to display user data like email, name or phone number. To render this page, you must get user data. We can request and retrieve data stored in an external application or database. While the page loads its data, we want to show something on the screen. It could be a loading spinner, a progress bar or a message please wait. These elements help user understand that the page is still loading and the content is coming. Without React Suspense, you can still manage data fetching in React using use effect and updating the status based on the fetched result. Something like if is loading, show spinner, else return component. The Suspense component lets you eliminate these checks and let the React deal with displaying the fallback instead. When a profile component waits for an asynchronous operation, Suspense signals to React to suspend the rendering of a profile. React pauses profile rendering and all its children components. This allows other UI parts of the page to render. Instead of a profile component, React renders the fallback UI defined on the closest Suspense component. Once data is fetched, React returns to the suspended component and finally renders it. I've collected five real-world examples where implementing React Suspense makes sense. I usually use it for simple lazy loading of components, fetching data and code splitting. You will find all the code sources in my blog post. Now let's get to the examples. Show a fallback while a lazy component is loading. This is a basic implementation of lazy loading of a slow component. First, import the lazy component and simulate a long time loading with set timeout. Set timeout adds a 3 seconds delay to the loading of a slow component. Now this component takes some time to load. It will provide visual feedback to a user that the element is loading. Provide suspense layouts for route based code splitting. Route-based code splitting splits your React app into smaller, more manageable chunks. I lazily load home, about and profile page with React Lazy function and set them as the pages in my app. For example, React will display the home component if a user navigates to the index path. I can define suspense boundaries around each route component and provide a fallback UI. Another option is to use a suspense layout for several routes to define a shared placeholder for multiple components. Or simply wrap the whole router with React Suspense to provide a global fallback for the entire application. The result is that each component loads independently. A user doesn't need to wait all components to load before displaying the content and React lazily loads routes when accessed. Data fetching with React Suspense. I have a basic app component and the profile component inside Suspense. Inside the profile component, I import the custom fetch data API handler to get data from the remote source. This fetch data function returns a promise with the user data, including name, email, and phone number. I use the custom read method to read the promise result. If the promise is still pending, React suspends the component and displays a fallback UI. I love this pattern because it promotes a more reactive programming model. We declare our requirements and let React to manage the loading and error states for us. You can focus on defining what data your components need rather than how to fetch and handle that data. Reveal nested components as they are ready. Rendering components that rely on asynchronous data can delay your content. To avoid this, I often use a strategy to render components as they are ready. 
I have three components, profile image, profile details and profile controllers. Each is lazily loaded, simulates delay and has its own React suspense. Once the components are ready, React progressively reveals them in the UI one by one. Display content all at once upon loading. This is an alternative strategy to reveal content. I display all content once upon loading, providing a different user experience. In this pattern, I place all three components within a single React Suspense. Since we are using only one React Suspense, it will wait for the slowest component to load. In my case, the slowest component takes 3 seconds to load. A user will wait this time to see all the headings. It can be helpful when presenting a fully loaded UI to avoid confusion. That wraps up 5 real-world examples of React Suspense. Dive into the code examples and implement React Suspense in your projects. Share your thoughts and plans for using React Suspense in the comments below. Read my blog post, it is full of valuable information and tips on mastering this React component. Thank you and see you next time.